peaches welcome back to my channel in today's video i have something very special planned i don't know if you know this about me but i've been doing hula i've been practicing hula off and on since i was eight years old i am now 24 almost 25. i'm not a hula expert by any means but I love the practice. I love the dance. I think it's very beautiful. And since I don't surf anymore, I can't show you that bit of Hawaiian culture, but I would love to impart hula to you, my lovely peaches and viewers. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I love the growth my channel is experiencing, so thank you. If you're not already subbed, hit the button. It's free. Definitely do it. I also have an OF link in my description if you're interested in seeing more of me. I love you so much. Thank you, peaches. Now, let's get into the video. This video isn't going to be talking about the history of hula. I am just going to be showing you some basic moves and i hope you wait till the end because i'm going to be clipping in some dances from when i was actively in a halau a halau is basically a hula team or a hula group like a dance group let's get into the moves the first move i'm going to show you is called kaholo that is the move you think about when you think of hula. For women, you start with your hands like this. You don't want to cross over your the middle of your chest. So put it basically on your nipple. And if you're a man, you could put your hands on your hips or you can have a fist like this. That is commonly how men do koholos. Now, if you don't want to do the dance and just watch, that's great. Enjoy. Sit on your couch, sit on your bed, sit on the floor. Let's begin. So you want to kind of bend your knees a little bit. Not completely, not like this, but a slight bend in the knee. One, two, three. You want to move your hips. And I know it's hard, but you don't want to move your shoulders with your hips. You want your shoulders to stay put and move. One, two, one, two. And typically the polo is two steps. So that was a koholo. Now I'm going to show you a hella. I'm going to have to scoot the camera down a little bit. So you're not going to be able to see my feet, but you are going to want to point your toes if you're a woman or flat foot if you're a man. For the hella, you're going to want to put hands on your hips. You want to bend your knees more than a uh, koholo and opposite hip to leg. So you bump out your hip, point your leg out. Follow along. 
for our next move, I'm gonna have to move the camera again because you are gonna need to see my knees in it. This move is gonna be called an uehe. I'm just not gonna get my face in it. Or maybe when I bend down, no face. Because <laughs> you need to see my knees. So an uehe for the men, you're gonna, I'm gonna make sure I don't flash anyone. This isn't the site for that. The uehe, you put your knees out for men. So like that. For women, that's considered a little uncouth. So it's straight like that. And you move your hips at the same time. Whew. This one is a lot. It's very hard to do, but let's get into it, peaches. lunges, deadlifts, just do with taken you through Koholo, I have taken you through Hellas, and I've taken you through Uehes. Now, I'm going to show you one of my favorite moves, trying to catch my breath, called a Kalakawa. It is called Kalakawa after our the last king of Hawaii, David Kalakawa, because he revitalized the hula and Hawaiian language and culture after it was declared illegal by the missionary powers here. He is considered probably, I would say the godfather of hula in a lot of ways, and this move honors him. I'm gonna have to put the screen down a little bit. So you bend like this. Unfortunately, you can't see my legs, but you twist your hip to the side like that, go back, then you to the other side. It's the same for both men and women, perhaps a little less hip motion for men. So let's begin. There also is a move called double kalakawa, which is two hip swings on each side, like so. Wow, what a workout. Gotta stay hydrated. My face is turning beet red. Now I am going to show you how to do an Ami, which is a stationary movement where you just kind of move your hips in a circular motion. Sort of like those hula tiki things that you get from touristy stores, the ones that just go back and forth like that. That is an Ami. I'll also show you how to do an Ami Cuckoo, which you go down. You go one, two, down. I'm really bad at that because I have weak knees, but let's get into it. It's important to show you stuff I'm bad at as well as good at just to show you kind of a more human aspect, I suppose. Ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna Ami counterclockwise first. I'm gonna count Ami 
clockwise now. Ooh, this hurts. Definitely can't do this move as well as the others. Now I'm going to show you an Ami Cuckoo. I'm going to put the camera down a little bit. You're not going to be able to see my face. So, one, two, I can't do it really anymore. You're supposed to bend down more, which is something that's hard for me to do. I definitely need to do knee strengthening. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that because that's just embarrassing. And so that was so much fun. I hope you learned something either about how to hula dance or a little bit of Hawaiian culture. I'll definitely show you more moves depending if you guys want it or if the engagement on this video is good. Now I'm gonna show you not one, but two of my hula dances I've done and performed. This isn't of the performance, this is just of the dances. So enjoy Peaches. I'm not gonna be talking to you the rest of the video. So I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great rest of your day. Stay peachy, stay hydrated. Bye.